Welcome to LearnClickView.com. In this tutorial, we'll, we'll explore a dual function in ClickView. As you might know, ClickView stores field uh, data as dual values containing both string and numeric value. So strings normally used for rendering or displaying to, to the end user, um, and uh, numeric values normally being used for uh, calculations in an expression or for sorting uh, data values. Um, so um, in this particular tutorial we'll use dual function to associate uh, a string uh, with a number and um, we'll explore ways we can use this to improve performance as well as um, to, um, to add um, some some visual aspects uh, for end users rather than just displaying zeros and ones. So let's begin um, the tutorial uh, to, to give you a little more idea as to what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to go over and uh, show you the data set that I'm using. Here it's a simple budget um, spreadsheet that I have. In this, we have categories and span per month. As you see, a um, very simple list of categories on the left, and um, span is on the right. And the idea is to um, uh, segregate this category values by um, non recurring and recurring uh, span so that. Um, as a household person, you can um, track both non-recurring and recurring um, expenses. And um, um, it also, when you uh, display it in Click View, um, you can visually see which one belongs to which uh, which type of category. So, with that said, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna go in first pull data in to quick view and as you know um, we start with the uh, the editor so um, let's start the script first I'm gonna add a tab <coughs> to bring um, the data And it's this budget spreadsheet what we want. I want to make sure that uh, embedded labels are on. Uh, so far, so good. I'm gonna finish this. That's um, <clears throat> that's nice little um, spreadsheet I have. So I'm gonna reload at this point, and it is asking me to save. So <coughs> say dual function. Right, and if I add this for the sake of validation, um, you can see that you know I can click on a category and it's displaying associated um, spend per month. So far, so good. Um, I really don't need this, I'm going to remove this for now. Now, um, in order to track recurring and non-recurring expenses will have to create a flag um, to itemize categories um, for the, the non-recurring expenses um, as zero or one um, that way we can segregate both types so for that I'm going to go back to the script here and I can simply put an H if statement so if if category is equal to and we have already identified non recurring categories um, and those are car maintenance, medicine, 
haircut and miscellaneous. So I'm going to click on each of these and simply say this or equal um, Madison. Miscellaneous equal haircuts. Um, if category value belongs to any of this, um, category type, then we're going to flag it as 1, otherwise it will be 0 as, as category type. So what this does is it allows you to, to group um, category uh, values based on the, the type of expense, whether it's recurring or non-recurring. So far, it's very good. So um, we can reload. All right. So if I um, if I create, let's say, if I add. Um, uh, let's tr let's add all of them right here. Now, what I have is a category type zero or one. So uh, zero uh, category type shows categories that are recurring, and one shows categories that are non-recurring. Um, so this is good, but again, from um, displaying purpose or from uh, the, um, the the semantic um, layers concerned, it's it's very difficult to for end user to to know what one or zero means, and this is where dual function can help because we can associate zero or one to a text value and then display uh, a meaningful text um, in this category list uh, for end users so that they can see uh, the recurring and non-recurring expenses. So in order to do that, I'm going to delete this and um, I'm going to add here a dual function first of all. So um, let's comment this. Um, so the dual function normally requires a string and a number. So it's dual. Um, string comma number. So first one will be the non-recurring. So say non-recurring spend, and it will have one, and the other will be dual recurring spend. Be zero as so now what we've done is 
um, we've associated one and zero with um, with a string that is more meaningful to the end user. So let's let's reload this and at all. Now data looks a little more meaningful. So when you click on a recurring or non-recurring, it just shows values here. Um, so if if you have to to make it even prettier, we can add a chart here. Um, but the idea is very simple. Um, by uh, associating a number to a um, a string, now we can uh, display either one. So let's let's add a chart here. I'm going to delete this. Mm -hmm. Actually, just remove this. And I'll move this here, and let's add a a chart. It's going to be just um, and we're going to make it bar a fast type in a straight table in case. And here we're going to have a category type in the category and simply uh, sum of spend per month. So far so good. So um, we can up a little bit here. No chart. Okay, so as you see here, um, make it bigger. So it's showing non recurring spend and recurring spend to see here. And um, if you wanted, we can even short this. So to short, we're going to use category. And let's use expression again. Sum off. Spend per month, and we'll just use um, uh, so we'll use descending. That's a nice chart showing uh, values in descending order, and the dimensions. Or we'll say um, so legend, so values, presentation, uh, access we can, uh, sorry, we, all, right, all right, so that's good enough. So it just shows you an idea, give you, gives you an idea that now instead of showing zero and one, we're, we're actually showing the text to to illustrate further, uh, if you wanted, um, we can actually change this field to an expression, and we can call it category type. And now, you know, if you put text category type. displays text here. If, if you change the expression and make it number, again, you know a number is associated with with a text in a dual function. Um, it'll show us zero or one. And, and as you know, the text was aligned to the left, whereas numbers aligned to the right. Um, and that's in the uh, the presentation as you see here text is for the left and you can see that this is a number um, but again uh, for end user 
showing a zero or one is rather confusing. So it's it's much better to to change this um, and make it a text. So there you have it. So, um, that's the power of dual function. It allows you to to display a meaningful value in the dimension. Um, but when it comes to calculation, um, this the same dual uh, function allows you to use number, and and that is quite more efficient in in terms of um, calculating huge number of uh, values in a in a large data set. And in the next tutorial, we can actually go over um, a few more benefits of dual function and how it can help large um, data set when it comes to uh, doing a, a sum um, instead of doing a count on, on uh, certain calculations. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.